First on my list in random order is Rescue Ace. Extremely powerful deck that can go or second. While going first you'll usually try to resolve turbulence. Which is an easy way to go plus 4 as it sets 4 cards from your decks. Rescue Ace also plays incredibly well under Max C as you can set 3 disruptions for 1 draw. While going second. You will usually link Climb with Nightmare Phoenix and Unicorn to get rid of your opponent's cards before making access Code Talker to go for game. You're easily able to do this thanks to cards like Preventer that help you swarm the field and act as disruption during your opponent's turn. And then you can do all this again when it's your turn again. Second on my list is Unchained. Again the list is in random order. Unchained is one of the most underrated decks in the game. You don't see it often in ranked but when you do, you're gonna have a bad day. Going first as you can see you can set up a crazy amount of interruption. Usually up to 6 or 7. You have 1 card starters like Tour Guide to help as well. While going second. You'll make plays while dismantling your opponent's board one monster at a time while also linking with your opponent's monsters into cards like Abomination to destroy even more cards. Third we have Snake Eyes. No explanation needed really. You're seeing me do the full turn 1 combo. You have like 13 1 card starters and almost 15 hand traps in the deck. You can't go wrong. Going first you'll usually set up 7 to 8 disruptions. With guaranteed follow up as well since Fombridge summons 2 from Grave even during your opponent's turn. You're also able to play through a lot of interruptions thanks to extenders like Bonfire and Diabelster. While going second, you have an easy. One card OTK combo involving Zelantis and Princess. Snake Eyes also utilizes pushing monsters into the spell and trap zones, so indestructible cards or cards that trigger when sent to grave can easily be played around by simply pushing them back to the spell and trap zone. You also have protection for your Appalissa with Linkurabo to guarantee Appalissa survives and uses all of its negates.
Next we have Labyrinth, a very popular deck and for good reasons, it's unique in how to utilize his trap cards. And once Labyrinth gets going, there's no chance in coming back. From setting up hand rips every turn, to recycling your furniture cards as well as Arius every turn, to directly setting traps from your deck and activating it that same turn, Labyrinth can do it all. If a monster leaves the field by a trap, that usually means you're going plus 5. Branded Despia simply never seems to leave the meta, still one of the best today despite all of the hits. Branded can easily go both first and second, going second you'll utilize cards like Albaz and Super Poly to fuse with your opponent's monsters, fusing into monsters that can further deal with other monsters. Branded also uses cards like Thrust to search for Branded Fusion or for your grass looks greener. While going first, Branded sets up an unbreakable board with a lot of disruptions, and not to mention the recycling during the end phase, basically making it your main phase 3 with the amount of cards you recover from Grave. You have your boss monster Mirror Jade with the non-target banishing which is one of the best forms of removal. You also use cards like Bistials to counter Grave decks and surprise your opponent. And finally we have Pearly, it was given support, and some of its limited cards were given a buff, you're seeing me do a combo which ends on a bunch of unaffected monsters, plus draw 4, plus 7 disruptions, plus hand traps, plus guaranteed follow up, and if you think going first is easy versus Pearly, they also have an easy 1 card OTK combo.
Your end board usually looks like this. Honorable mentions, we have Tirlaments. I'd probably rank it 7th. It's also extremely fun to use. Another honorable mention, Manadium. Extremely strong turn 1. I'd also rank it 7th or 8th. Subscribe if this video helped. Here's my deck list. Thanks for watching.